G'day superstars, I'm gonna show you how to make your footage look like this. Well, this is quite amazing. How good do I look? I didn't think I could improve on this face. It's so good looking in the first, <laughs> God, I can't say that with a straight face. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this effect in DaVinci Resolve right now. Okay, so we've got some footage here in the edit tab of a beautiful woman and a bunny rabbit because who doesn't love beautiful people and bunny rabbits? If you don't like bunny rabbits and beautiful people, you're obviously a monster. The first thing we're going to do is go down to the color tab down the bottom here and I'll show you a few different ways to make this thing look different. So if you go up to your effects on the right hand side up here, click effects and do a search. I've already done it as you can see but you can type in water. You can go watercolor. You can put that on the node over the cross here and you can see that it turns the whole thing into like a watercolor painting. You have the option to blend it in and out so you've got global blend here. You can bring it back to the left and that'll take it back to the normal footage. All the way to the right is the effect at 100%. But let's turn that off for a second. And up the top here, let's type in stylize. There's a stylize effect here. Click that and drag it across to your node. Then you get a whole bunch of different effects you can try. So I've clicked on candy to give it a quick look, but if you click on each one of these, they give you a different look. And, that, and your computer does take a second to render. But once that effect is on, you can see you can switch between them pretty easily and give you all these different effects. And there's heaps of them. But if you click on Global Blend here and drop that box down, you can see that you can, if you go all the way to the left, it brings your effect off and all the way to the right, it makes it full. So if you go somewhere in the middle and press play, you can see your footage looks very interesting. That was on the Impression Reservoir one. So let's try, Scream always looks interesting. What I quite like is Chinese Brush and also Kandinsky Composition. So look at, this is Kandinsky. Now if you bring that up even more, you get a really, really interesting look. If you want that dreamlike quality, you can go to the Feather setting. So click on here and just go down to Feather and then you get an effect that looks like this, which I think looks pretty amazing, really. And of course, once you've done that, you can always go back into your color settings over here and you've still, you've still got full control to adjust it how you want. Now, as you can see, if you look at the footage here in Feather, it looks cartoonish and really cool, like an interesting abstract kind of painting, but you'll find that sometimes the color gets pulled out of it. So what you do is you grab your contrast wheel over here on the left, which is Lift, and you go to the left and you can bring the contrast back in a little bit and of course you can boost your saturation down the bottom here make it very colorful indeed and now you have a dream world that you've created for your characters and if you look at the comparison between the two it's very very drastic now that you've mastered how to make yourself look like a painting check out this video here on color correction and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching